the night I played hide and seek with a killer. It was a regular Tuesday night. My parents were away and I had the house to myself. I was chilling on the couch, binge watching a series when I noticed something odd outside my living room window. The street was dimly lit, but I could make out a figure lurking near my neighbor's house. At first, I thought it might be one of their friends or a family member, you know, someone they were expecting. But the longer I watched, the more uneasy I became. This person was just standing there, staring at their front door. It gave me the creeps, but being the rational person I am, I dismissed it as my imagination running wild. As the night progressed, I got up to grab a snack from the kitchen. That's when I heard a creak, a subtle noise that sent a chill down my spine. I froze. The front door was slightly ajar. Panic set in, and I immediately regretted not double-checking if I'd locked it. I hesitated, debating whether to investigate or call the police. But curiosity got the better of me, and against my better judgment, I tiptoed toward the door. It swung open with a soft groan, revealing an eerily quiet house. I heard a noise upstairs, like footsteps. My heart pounded as I realized someone was inside my home. Fear gripped me, but I forced myself to stay calm. I retreated to a closet, my breath caught in my throat, praying they wouldn't find me. From my hiding spot, I could hear the intruder moving through the rooms, searching for something. The tension was unbearable. I clutched my phone, ready to call for help, when I heard a noise from downstairs. It was a door slamming shut. I strained to listen, and my blood ran cold as I heard the unmistakable sound of a scream echoing through the night. My mind raced, and I realized the intruder hadn't found me, but had moved on to my neighbor's house. Guilt and relief washed over me in equal measure. I couldn't believe the horrifying turn of events. I stayed hidden until I was sure it was safe, and then, with shaky hands, I called the police. When they arrived, I explained what had happened. The reality hit me like a ton of bricks when they went next door. My neighbor, a kind elderly couple, had been brutally attacked. The scene was something out of a nightmare. It wasn't a random break-in, the intruder had specifically targeted them. The investigation unfolded, and the police caught the perpetrator. Turns out, he had a twisted motive and had mistaken my house for theirs. It's a chilling realization that I narrowly escaped a fate that befell my neighbors. The guilt still lingers, wondering if there was anything I could have done differently. The randomness of it all, the fact that a simple twist of fate saved my life that night, is a haunting thought. It's a reminder that danger can lurk in the most unexpected places, and sometimes, survival is just a matter of luck. <laughs>